Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, we are going to the uh, train fest at the LA Union Passenger Terminal. Make sure I don't call it a station and offend all the purists. But uh, yeah, I never heard of this. Uh, saw it on uh, something online and thought, hey, I'd make a good video. So Jennifer and I, Clarissa and Audrey are going to head down there. We're at the Metrolink station in Santa Clarita. Stopped uh, this morning in Bakersfield had stopped this morning, had breakfast in Bakersfield before we left, and came on down here. So, uh, yeah, we're just, uh, we got about uh, 20 minutes or so before the uh, train gets here, and it's going to take us straight to Los Angeles Union Passenger Terminal, and we'll see what happens there. All right, let's go. Yep, here comes our train. Got a headlight out. He is exactly on time. Alright, well, let's get on. See what happens next. Alright, well, we are on the train. Audrey and Clarissa. Yep, first train ride for both of them ever. But, uh, huh? Uh, I think it's. I think it said it takes about a, an hour to get there from here. Oh, we got a flash in yellow. I just saw that. All right, well, let's check it out. All right, we are in the San Fernando Tunnel. This tunnel is it's well over a mile long. I don't remember its exact length. I think it's around 7,000 feet. But, uh, yeah, as you can see. Looks like it's nighttime, but it's really not. Audrey, hey girl, hey, hey. She's like, yeah, you're not so, you're not so cool now, cause I'm on a train. Ah, there's that smile. It's hey, Papa Girl, huh? It's hey, Papa Girl, huh? First, that, that is Clarissa said she's never been on a train before. I know Audrey hasn't. So. First time. And I've never been on a metro link. Kind of see the marks in the concrete kind of flashing by every once in a while. We're really close to the to the walls of the tunnel, only a few feet. The train's rocking and rolling. There we go. Emerges close to the uh, highway, right at the highway 14 I 5 interchange. All right, this is the Interstate 5 and 210 Pasadena Freeway interchange. Aqueduct comes off the bottom of the hill there. See the big pipe. And that is the Los Angeles. Or that's the California Aqueduct. So many aqueducts, I lose track of them. Track. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. Here you can see the San Gabriel Mountains. And Open area, unusual, but a little airport. I'm not exactly sure where we are right now. I know our next stop is Sun Valley, so the mountains that surround the uh, San Fernando Valley. Kind of like the city of New Orleans, but except we're not rolling past houses, farms, and fields.
when I get back home and I'm editing this, I'll look at my Metrolink timetable and see what the speed limit is here. I don't know. Feels like we're probably going, I don't know, 60, I guess. I don't know. It's nice and smooth. Looks like a defunct power plant. Side of the train to see it really, but that's downtown you LA. Down in the river, I'm moving along pretty good. Yeah. Look for you. Here's the UP <laughs> intermodal facility. All you folks who are familiar with Los Angeles railroading, feel free to leave in the comments below what this, these places are actually called uh, because I'm really unfamiliar. I've never worked down here. Most of you know I was on the San Joaquin Division in the old SP days and it was forbidden for us to come down here and work. Mission Tower, okay. I've seen pictures of that. That's the old interlocking tower. That's cool. Never seen it before. See, they even call it Union Station. So there. It's like an old Yardmaster's Tower. like I don't know if that, that looks more like something that may have been like a power station or something so if uh, again those of you who are familiar with the Los Angeles area railroading feel free to leave your knowledge and or corrections in the comments below the Amtrak Surfliner. Alright. Well, get ready to get going here. Alright. Well. 90 minutes. Huh? 90 minute wait. That's from right here. That doesn't count way down here. I'm already beginning to think this was a bad idea. But we're already here, so let's see what happens next. All right, inside the passenger waiting area here at Union Station. Actually, not as big as I thought it would be, but uh, got the schedule there, the departures, and the arrivals. Of course, uh, I don't know what's the other way, but from where we got in line, they said it's a two hour wait to get in. So this better be worth it, because uh, I don't like waiting. Got some model stuff over here, so you know, look at all this where they used to uh, sell all the tickets back in the busy days, I guess. But uh, there's some, looks like model railroad clubs here. Go check it out. This is the Group 160 in track. 
in scale stuff here. Southern California Traction Club. That looks like HO, like trolley cars and stuff. Yeah, this looks like a trolley car setup. That's pretty cool. Tornado. Some messed up buildings. Wow. Zocal, Southern California Z Scale Model Railroading Group. Z Scale. Wow. That is. That is small. BNSF pulling a bunch of Union Pacific cars. That's cool. Man, that's small. That must be hard to work with. They, they could do it full size. Uh, uh, pretty cool. Port. And I don't know where this red is representative. A couple of warthogs. A couple of. What is that? F 18s? A couple of C 130s. A couple of Ospreys. That's pretty cool. Come out, this is on the uh, west side of the station, downtown LA there, City Hall. For those uh, of you who are Dragnet fans, that was kind of, uh, kind of at the edge of the downtown area, back in the dun 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 days. There's station clock tower. Alright, this is the street entrance this is on, i think this is on alameda yeah alameda street i was right but uh yeah i hope uh, everybody's okay all right jennifer just said they're almost to the front of the line so i better get back in there all right well it didn't take us 90 minutes actually it took us about 45 to get in here it was hot down in that tunnel no air down there but uh made it through okay anyway uh got a i guess they said this is a one of the vintage metrolink one of the early style trains but uh i'm gonna go through that uh got some uh got a tamper here i have never ever in my career ever seen any of this equipment clean and that is a fact i've never seen any of this stuff new it's always been in use and way dirty got the regulator there it's a pretty good size one actually Another tamper. Yeah, 
And uh, I will link in the description below the uh, How Things Work on the Railroad playlist. And it has a lot of stuff of uh, track work going on and uh, some of the other on-track equipment uh, at work. Some of you, many of you, are conversant with locomotive types. You tell me what that is, because I don't know. It has an F on it. it must mean freight. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. But uh, anyway, go down here and uh, check this train out. Evidently, it has some vintage cars on it. Let's. Uh, oh, this is an Operation Lifesaver deal. Okay. Let's see what's going on. All right. This is a one of the track cars. Hey, this way. Yeah. The showers are upstairs. Wait, there's showers in here? The deluxe have showers in them. This is a, one of the cars that would cost you a boatload of money to take. The they have yeah, they said they, yeah, these aren't the deluxes, but I don't care. Amtrak's expensive no matter how you look at it. Oh, you get chairs and then your bed flops down. I am, I could never do, I'm so claustrophobic, that would not work for me. That wouldn't work for me either. That's why I prefer driving so I can get a motel at night. Yeah, and this is like a coach. economy coach. <laughs> this is, this would probably be actually more comfortable for me. I could lean the seat back a little bit and sleep in it and wouldn't be all wadded up. I should have no idea how steep and narrow these stairs are. And this isn't something you'd want to do after you've been visiting a club car for a while. No. I guess you mentioned those were, that Amtrak car one was a super liner car. Just been notified of that. We are getting ready to get on the one of the Pullman cars. Our old UP car. It says it was built in 1956. Still its original configuration. Right, we're in the Pullman, UP Pullman car. Oh, this thing's look claustrophobic. <laughs> Can you imagine a week I can't imagine a day in one of them. Or the night anyway. If you're only about four feet tall, it might be all right. But these should give you a room, little steel cast room number deals. Yep. There's one, but look, man, that's small. Nighttime configuration. That's the claustrophobia configuration. That gal said that the Amtrak, the Amtrak ones are even smaller. There's some of the bigger ones. I rode on the uh, officer special, the UP officer special, a couple of times, and the uh, honchos that were like general directors and above, those guys got to ride, and uh, or those guys got to stay on the train, and when I saw their cars, it's like, I don't know if got to stay on the train is a, a good, uh, they put us up, we, it was an overnight trip, the one from Vegas to Bakersfield, and they put us up in uh, motels, uh, hotels, it was actually a nice hotel, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, those, those rooms were pretty small, and some of those we're pretty big guys that had to stay in them. Again, I'd be actually, I'd actually be more comfortable in these cars. Nice privacy door here. It's almost like a house of horrors or something. Alright, Dally. A real stove. It's not something that takes us out to put it in your house. Hey, it goes back in there. That one's not that awful bad. Oops, I'm sorry. 
There's one. Sink, a desk. All the comforts of home. And if you were like riding in first class, doing that, I guess this is where you would sit and have dinner. That's pretty cool. What's your son's name? Oscar. Hey, Oscar. You're going to be on YouTube. You're going to be a star. Say hi to everybody. He's like, yeah, whatever, dude. Where are you folks from? We're here. We're local. Uh, we, yeah. came, we came up from Bakersfield. Okay. Or down or whatever it is. Uh, Did you see that? Is it going to be like this? Because don't we have like the bigger one of them? All right. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. I could do this. Bathroom, shower, sink. Yeah, this whole this like a little stayed in motel rooms that weren't much bigger than this. <laughs> That's cool. And uh, I guess this is the communal toilet here. Pull down for sink. Not too long ago, I drove through the Sierras on a very unusual road. And this was the. Hey, what's happening? You guys remember Ken from over at the Santa Susana Museum at the, the Model Railroading Exhibition? All right, good to see you again. Looking back down the platform. That is the Tioga Pass private rail car. Cool. We oh, got one of the metro rails, the ones that whisk you around town right there. I've never been on those either. Jennifer and I keep saying we're going to come down here one of these days and just spend a whole day riding those things around. And that uh, sounds like fun. I'm not sure which freeway that is there. I don't know. Maybe the, I don't know, maybe the 10. I don't know, Spring, Spring Street is where the signal department had one of their headquarters. And uh, I think that's where the Pacific Electric was too. I don't remember. God, all that stuff's been so long. BNSF locomotive. ET44C4. You know that I, you all know that I am not conversant with locomotive type, so please, it's an AC. It says AC motors on, on the trucks. And that's the only reason I know that. But uh, yeah, you locomotive aficionados, feel free to drop in the comments below and uh, get me all straightened out. Send engine 5704 home to Southern California Railway Museum. Donate 5704. Now 3751. I've never seen this engine in person. I've uh, just seen it uh, in photographs and videos, but it was restored some time back. Wow, that's beautiful. I love steam locomotives, they're so cool. Hang on a second. Okay, it's uh, 20 bucks to go up in the cab of this and check it out. I've been in the cab of steam locomotives. And seen me in the cabs of the small Heislers and stuff, but I've been up in the cabs of steam locomotives before and it's cool. And uh, Jennifer's not interested. Clarissa's got the baby and the baby's asleep. I would have paid for her to go up in there, but she said that's, that's okay. So anyway, 3751. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful locomotive. I, I've always said that, I know that I do it, probably most people, they tend to think of, uh, they look at old photographs of these things and think of them in gray tones and black and white. And uh, even though this one isn't brightly colored, it's all shine, shiny. And I'm sure there was a time when this was just as dirty as any other locomotive. But uh, 
Yeah. Beautiful. You're doing a really, really nice job with this. Okay. Here's some more closer up stuff of the uh, 3751. It's one thing all of you also know is I love steam locomotives just because the engineering. They're just so awesome. Those appear to be about 72 inch drivers. Um, if I remember, I'll look that up when I edit this, but if not, feel free to let me know in the comments below. It is. Very warm today, and uh, we're going to go find somewhere for Jennifer and uh, Clarissa and the baby to cool off. Get something cold to drink, maybe a bite to eat, we'll see. But anyway, this looks to be all the equipment they have. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Audrey has decided, what is that? A strawberry refresher. Strawberry refresher, something or tea, or, is it tea? It's is just it? a strawberry. Oh, drink. strawberry. She likes it, boy. She has figured, it's got that sippy cup lid on it. She's going to town on it. She ain't going to save none for Grammy. But anyway. We've gone and seen everything that they have on display here. So we thought we would come in here, utilize our tickets, take a break, and get ready to get back on the next train headed back to Santa Clarita. All right, well, on the south patio here, the clock tower. We have some uh, seating out here and uh, Playing a little music, some food, and for all you nitpickers who say it's not Union Station, that it's Union Passenger Terminal, no, it's Union Station. It's technical name and legal name, maybe Los Angeles Union Passenger Terminal, but that's not, as I'm told by a lot of the folks around here what anyone refers to it as so uh, so there you go but uh anyway i'm just being goofy uh it was really warm we were over at the thing the, over at the, the train exhibits but it's uh, cooled off quite a bit a little bit of cloud cover got a breeze but uh we're done oops i'm sorry ma'am we're done and we are Waiting for the next train to Santa Clarita, which should be here in about a half an hour. So I'm going to go back into the waiting room and sit down. I'm going to train out. There's Dodger Stadium up on top of the hill there. Uh, the river, the original river station, used to be just below the hill there, at the base of the hill on the other side of the river, and uh, they moved it over here to this side. Cool old building. Must be PG&E or SCE or something, I guess. Up oh, to Water and Power, DWP. Metrolink facilities are maintenance and I guess engine house. I guess I don't know. We'll have to go back and pause that, folks. That hit, locomotives all burn up on the front. <laughs> I always thought this uh, mall thing was cool here with that SR-71 up on top of the billboard or the entrance way there and there's a constellation on top of that one oh, 
sure what that one is. F8, oh, it's a P80 shooting star, okay. P38. I've always thought that was cool. You can see that while you're driving down I-5. Well, the uh, train fest is over for us. Uh, I, uh, eh, it was okay. Uh, it was just okay. It was cool to see the 3751, but it was hot today. I don't know how it felt like it. I don't know. It felt like it was in the low 90s, but standing on the asphalt was hot. But it was, I don't know. It wasn't as great as I thought it would be, but uh, there were a lot of people here. Uh, if we had waited a little longer to get here, we wouldn't have had to wait very long in line. The line was pretty short by the time we were done doing what we were doing, but then it would have been hotter. So, what are you going to do? But anyway, uh, everybody had a decent time. <laughs> I was like, if this is your thing, this is really cool, but uh, there wasn't much here for a long drive from Bakersfield, but getting to ride the Metrolink and go to see some old stuff, whatever. It was, it was okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, here are the URLs to my PayPal and my Patreon. If you help the channel out that way, I'd sure appreciate it. So keep shooting me the ideas, drop them in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorpoet 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. And uh, here's six. Bye bye. And they really enjoyed, Audrey really enjoyed her first train ride. She's going to like this. Of course, I had a good time too. All right. All right. That will be the end of this video. All right. We'll see y'all later.